Mm -hmm. I don't want to graze. Oh, good lady. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Benita. Today, we're going to do a Q&A mukbang. We eat at McDonald's with college baby girl and baby girl. Our last one we did at home, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. loaded taco. No, loaded nachos. Mm -hmm. And I will link that video here, either down below. So I asked you guys over on Instagram for some questions and y'all came through. But I never got to like seven. Jada says not a lot, but I think that'll be too much if we went further than that. What y'all eating? I'm in <laughs> I got two McDoubles, plain up with cheese. Maybe. And then you don't know, I got the same thing. Food is slushy. I got a um, Fit Mac combo. What did I think it was $8? Because your drink though. Yep, just Big Mac and Fries. The Big Mac combo is eight fifty. It came with eight fifty five. I'm gonna let this be three dollars back in the day. That's what Chipotle does. They're done. It ain't advice in college. Oh God. Uh uh. Got some good advice to give up the people. Here she go, y'all. Here she go. Me, me, that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, when I first started talk, well, I talked to people at school and stuff. Like freshman year, I talked to somebody. But you know, people ghost you and things of that nature. Uh -uh. I got ghosted, y'all. You got ghosted. I did. You know she got ghosted. Talking to her for a while, and then I would like, you know, check up on the person. Just, you know, I knew at that point it was not going anywhere. But I was just checking up on them, whatever. And then they wouldn't respond. And I told her I stopped texting them. People who got a lot, we always be going to eat, always hanging out on campus, blah, 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 blah. That's why I said, is that ghosting, mm -hmm. though? After the fact, like, you know, we were talking after after the break and stuff and then never responded. Uh -huh. But my advice, um, I wouldn't get, like, tied down mm -hmm. too quickly because, like, freshman year, I wasn't ready for no relationship. And, like, I had just gotten there, so I kind of chill out. I mean, you can date if you want to, you know, talk to new people, maybe make new connections. But I wouldn't try to, like, get into, like, a solid relationship just yet. I mean, have fun. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like, sophomore year. You can, that's what I did. I'm in a relationship now, which started uh, like July. Then he has to be his girlfriend in January. <clears throat> that took me to like basically the first semester of sophomore year. And now we're boyfriend and girlfriend. It's a long distance relationship. Not too long distance, but it's still distance. It's not, it's not like I see him every day or like we go to the same school. And when we go home, you know, we still have distance. So if you think it's gonna work and then you have the confidence to do it and you know that you can handle it and that you guys are both gonna be in it for the right reasons and be able to hold on and keep strong then i don't see a problem with you <laughs> so, yeah. be smart guys mm -hmm. I that, I that vibe. and don't get pulled into hookup culture think about that people, hookup culture is real is real 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 people just want to have sex with you and that's not what we're here for but like, yeah. i got in tinder for a while and everybody was trying to have sex. I'm like, that's not what I want. Either that or they just want to be friends. But then folks don't be having the characteristics that I needed to in the boyfriend. Some people just do want to do the hookup culture. What y'all call it? A creepy link? Sneaky, Sneaky link? link. Mm -hmm. That's my advice, guys. It says, congrats on graduation. What are your plans? Okay. <laughs> I'm back in Felton. I'm sorry, y'all. Guys, um, the plans go to college. Um, is that mine? No. Oh. It is. It's fine. <laughs> I, have I have a roommate. Um, we're getting the housing stuff together too, but that's the plan. I was gonna say why. For her school had over thirty-five thousand applicants. Please. And only five thousand on campus spaces. After college, this fall, making new friends. When I first started, I would say whoever your roommate is, if you have a roommate, that should be like your first friend. That's how it was for me because I mean, you're basically living with the person for a whole semester. So why wouldn't you connect with them? My second piece of advice would be like, keep your circle small. I mean, of course you can have like, people that you talk to like in your classes, people that you just meet along the way, but I know who like your core friends are. Cause my friend group was only consists of like four people. I know plenty of outside people who I would consider friends. Be yourself. <clears throat> Don't, you know, try to be fake or try to fit in with people that you know you're not gonna be able to fit in with. 
people that have commonalities and common qualities like you start finding genuine connections and finding people and then once you have that that's really all you need but i would say put yourself out there did you got anything to add to that since you're going off um was that good advice for you it is it is um applica applicable excuse me for me um so far i feel like of course my roommate we have a lot of similarities um and she's really cool and then when i went on campus for like a little experience of college situation back in april i met two other people that were also going to school too and i talked to them constantly and when i was like first initially like, on the um facebook page i mean bad. <laughs> please please mom I mean, the facebook page for my year um i met i met a lot of people that way too this don't get into peer pressure is this is this still on the friend or the dating one friend oh really the friends too really like these groups oh i see what you're saying okay. everybody's doing it i want to do it too no but it's hard doing when you don't know who you want kind of know you're still trying to figure out who you are in college something you know feels it right. feels right feels wrong i'm not saying that to live a little because i did still is <laughs> but you know still, li crazy, still, still, still living crazy. a little do you suggest as far as friendships going out to college meeting new people joining those like the facebook groups and things like that like you yes. did you, you joined your year graduation year instagram mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i joined the facebook page and a new app called patio um which had like a general like chat then it, like got broken down to like spe specific hobbies and like people's majors whatever and you really made friends in like a lot of your classes uh -huh. too I believe that because y'all have I already have a common interest because y'all in the class, especially if they're in your program. I would say make at least one friend in each of your classes. YouTube channel question mark. Are we still? <laughs> is this from you? It is. Please. Are we still doing YouTube? I want that camera if she's not. So I told I told the people I said I'm trying to get a camera from Jada if she's not gonna be. She gets she gets on there, y'all. I'm gonna be vlogging. I'm gonna be vlogging more. I'm trying to steal the camera. Um yes, my my YouTube is still a thing. Um sometimes. I'll just like pick up the camera random like I did yesterday. I need to edit it too. Anyway, irregardless. I'll pick up the camera and I'll vlog. And I have clips on the camera, but I just don't edit it because I have to be lazy at it, or I forget or I just don't think about it. And then meaning it'll sit on my camera for a couple of months. Yeah. Um mean and meaning that I don't have any uploads on my channel. But yes, <clears throat> YouTube is still going to I, I plan to vlog in college. Um but I just have to go I'm gonna have to find the balance of that because y'all know I, I began burning out on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna keep COVID test. No. You the one with gallivanting. Everybody was negative, first of all. I've been at the house. Big questions for me, it was all surrounding like parenting because when I said <laughs> when I said I was <laughs> when I said that I was doing a another one with y'all, people said that they love our relationships. Parenting advice for teens, grown teens slash adults etc and it says what is the secret to being close to your kids correct <laughs> but link three times if you need correct. help correct. what <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> what i think give us a background my mom was really really close to us three of us i'm the baby of the family so my sister my brother and then me but with i noticed with all three of us individually and all together she would always say you know you can tell me anything even <laughs> though i don't i may not like it or or what you're doing but just know you can come to me and tell me anything and i've tried to do that with my children all three of them now my son javon who's you know i think he probably don't exist but if there is at least one vlog with him in it, yeah, he never wants to say this because you know he's in media and he don't he want to kind of keep it. I think all three of them I'm pretty close with. I will say it is challenging transitioning from like childhood to teens to adult. I have a problem with parenting adult children because I'm a control freak. I like to control. Micromanager. <clears throat> that's, that's what they told me recently. <laughs> I'm sorry. That I was a micromanager. <laughs> but I need this micromanagement. I am challenged that way, and I think I've gotten better. 
but I I need to learn how to just let go and let them do whatever because I've raised them, I've given them the tools, and now it's time for them to put it into action. So I would say I think the quote unquote secret is to being close with your kids, just being open and honest with them. You're gonna have to give them something too. You can't just tell them, you know, well, don't do this, don't do that. You're gonna have to give them some real world examples of things that you've done that you might not want to share. Cause I've I've told y'all some stuff. Mm -hmm things that you've done when you were their age that didn't turn out right. And when they do open up, just try not to have <laughs> a response. I be screaming in the inside with these two. So they be telling me I be screaming in the inside, but I just take it in and then I then I respond. Cause they do, they, they're asking me a question or they just want me to know. And um, you just, so I guess that's the, like I said, the secret to it. You just gotta learn how to be open but one thing I tell y'all too, you can't control how I react. Some stuff I just, I gotta react because it'd be too far. Do y'all feel like y'all can tell me anything? Mm hmm. I'm acting scary. But y'all know why. But I, you do, but I, but I think you still eventually do it. I do. Dad the same way too, though. I think y'all can tell mm -hmm. dad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go to dad. Well, back to, backing up to Javon, I know for sure he talks to dad more than me. Definitely talks to his father more than me. And I th that just might be a boy thing, but I feel like he will come to me. For advice and things that he needs. I would agree with the the point of letting people go. Huh? I don't pay attention. Who, who not, letting, not over here. Okay. <laughs> who we letting go? You just still in that corner. He didn't vlog, y'all. That made me say I was trying to shed a bad light on me. <laughs> it's not over here. <laughs> you over in that corner. <clears throat> We're not gonna be doing anything ridiculously wild. <clears throat> but I feel like at some point. And I'm 20 now, but still, but still, I'm not grown, but I am. So I'm just like, sometimes I'm gonna be like, well, mom, do I even have to like ask anymore? Or I mean, I'm going to. That's how I was raised. I'm respectful, mm -hmm. right? Some stuff is just a level of respect. Like you in my house still. You technically need to let me know about the ins and outs. You just don't get up and leave. Now I don't care what you say. I don't care. I don't care what you say, America, about that. That's never gonna change. When I was with my mom. As an adult, I still respected the fact that I was in her house and was like, okay, mom, I'm about to go. It's not technically asking, it's just letting people know where you are and being respectful. Cause you don't own the house. <laughs> so, so yeah. So yeah, you're not just gonna be leaving. He was going back and you guys remember he was going back and forth. They saw him a couple of times then, but he still, he was ducking the, the vlog. He was going back and forth. He would because that one time he went out with Nick and them, he came home from work and they went back out at like one o'clock. He was like, my husband looked, he was like, is it okay if I, and I was like, I mean, yeah. I said, but you want you gotta go to work the next day? He was like, yeah, but I just wanted to let you know, right, where I'm going. He didn't have to, but he needed to let us know. A bone to pick with you, and don't do this, America. A, a teen America, a young adult America. Hey, you be like, um, well, yeah, I'm gonna make a mistake anyway, mom, so you might as well just let, don't think that, it's okay to just willfully go into it knowing it's a mistake. You just need to let us make a mistake. This must make, but if we can prevent it, I mean, right, you ultimately. Cause either way, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Right, but you shouldn't, those, you shouldn't willfully want to go into something knowing that it's wrong. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's not right. Though. And then, then don't call me <laughs> when you fall off the edge. Don't call me. Tell the world I'm a great parent. She is a great mom, <laughs> she guys. Is. She really is. Mm, she is. I do pretty much what y'all want to do. Yeah. And she's going to tell you what she think and either you decide to do it or not. Correct. Right. I just need to make sure that y'all safe and, we, and, and have, what's the rule? Have a plan. Let me know the plan. And then this one right here, though. She used uh -uh. to be that way. She's starting to peel back. Like yesterday, she was gone. And I was like, oh my gosh. She didn't even tell me where she was going. Which was fine, but then I, I'm sorry. I she didn't even text me. So I'm here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm about to wrap up. I forgot to text her, but, but we weren't about to wrap up. We were still talking. We weren't part talking. It was time to wrap it up, mom. It was, mom. It's summer, <laughs> and I'm 18. Pack it up, Dad. We we, it wasn't even nine o'clock, y'all. It was, it was like eight forty-five. Now, mom. <laughs> what's our, what's our curfew? I love saying she really don't have one. I don't, I don't be nowhere anyway. She don't be. She she do she do things that's normal In time. The time. <laughs> and then when it's time to come home, she just come on home. I would say probably midnight. Huh. This somebody said they have curfew was like eleven. It's, it just depends. I think it's it's fluid. It depends on what you're doing. This one right here, she pretty much don't have no curfew. Really, really. I, 
the la man, the ladies I've been came in the house like maybe 12. Yeah, because it's not even me to do after that. And I'm, I can't go to no club. It's really not. I, I mean, if you were going to the club, you need to be. Yeah. I would say, like, Javon, they went to the club or the bar that night. He left at like 12 30. He got back at like 2. And he said that he's like, I ain't gonna go, I ain't gonna go past two. I think that's 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 reasonable if you're going to someone like a club bar situation to be home by like one or two. The record show that said I was an excellent parent. If you had to choose me or daddy, who would you choose? Don't answer that. Yeah, this is serious. She said dad. <laughs> but it's because but then getting them. Is it shocker? Because like I obviously you go to obviously obviously go to your mom and dad for different things but i feel like dad if i were to tell, tell him something he his reaction wouldn't be as big as mom's would be well of course he, he would still probably come follow through with the rubber band after that unless it's but, about a boy it's now that's when he gets stupid for he gets crazy. For that. yeah. that's when he gets done if it's about a boy it's going to be a big reaction i'm just working on him with that why is i am like that? i have he's gotten a little better i feel like girl stuff i would talk to mom about i'm probably like feelings and you know girl stuff yeah but if it's about a boy he be acting crazy with hand on the waist mm -hmm. like, now jordan to your daddy's defense <laughs> you and your person don't be doing hand on the waist don't make us enter the picture here. <laughs> it was, uh, it was making a scene. Cause you know it's all about Big Booty Judy over here. <laughs> Don't get that. All right, so let's talk about favorites real quick. What do you, what do you, what are you guys loving? I already did my favorite. Shoes. What do you love? You want to do an outfit of the day? No, cause you got something on your shirt. All right, great. What? Right there. I'll go while they're yeah. deciding. I'm loving YouTube right now. When I say YouTube, um, I'm, I mean gaming. Um, Y'all know I love me some Burleazy. Yeah. We'll have all the link down below. Cool. Netflix, I'm loving. We did um, Stranger, Things. Stranger Things. I hope y'all finished that. That was good. Big Devander. I've watched Survivor. Like old Survivor. And Total Drama Island. And I'm watching Crum Criminal Minds too. I've been into music though. Like mm -hmm. Blast's new album. A1. Before you go? I don't know. Yes. That, um, Vince Staples. His mm -hmm. album is good. Is that what I'm listening to? Oh, and Ty Dog, sorry. I've been into Jesus. He, he always works. <laughs> you see how they do? You see how they do? Take note, Lord. Love you guys. I've been to Jesus. Reading tea, I forgot. Um, yes, yeah, give us some books. Um, well, currently right now I'm reading the Love Hypothesis. I know all y'all have seen this right here. Book top. Um, I'm reading that. I finished the first Harry Potter book. I'm reading that this summer. What's book talk? Book TikTok. Oh, oh okay. Anyway, y'all. There's a book TikTok. No, it's like when your 40 page like starts Su make, suggesting like a bunch of book stuff. Exactly, that's what comes based on like what you too. like or like what you talk but about. Somebody that they're doing like a video. Yes, there's a bunch of authors and people that, that just love books that talk about books. And put it and put it to music and stuff. Yeah, and they just talk about books. I think I need to get on TikTok. What my TikTok name would be, y'all? Anyway, that's not, that's it's not, not about her. Comment down below which you think should be. But you know, Harry Potter is really good. Um, this is really good as well. I'm reading an uh, online arc from an author mm -hmm. from TikTok. Her name is AK Daily. She's black. She's a woman. Her. Um, but her book is called Through Everything, and you can find it on Amazon. We're going to put it on screen and look it down below. Obviously, mm -hmm. we have to support. Um, that, sounds, that sounds good, though. Yeah, it, and Jada, to be, to be commended, she graduated, guys, with a 4.04. Yeah, it was 4.04 because we got we got to mail her official transcript. <laughs> I looked at the game. It was a 4.04. So senior, I had a 4.0. Yeah, 4.04. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is you? Because so one thing about me, one thing about me, y'all, I don't strive. For all is if I get one, that's great. But that's I don't kill myself over having to get A's and stuff. You know, I know it's nice to get good grades, but that's just not me. So you will you will never find me being the one that's like, oh, um, I, I if I get B, I'm too far. Never that. Strive to get good grades. I, that, I'm that's what I'm saying. I I do strive, but I'm saying I'm not being a back to make all A. That's what I'm saying. Use math way. Use Quizlet. Mm, use Socratic. Well, use, use Spark. No, look at them integrity, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we see where this is going to the left. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and That's subscribe. <laughs> A big old thigh. <laughs> I'm gone, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Bye.